Here are the five bank accounts everybody should have and what you should do with each. For day-to-day -day payment needs, you'll want a no-fee checking account. This is where you deposit your paycheck or other income and pay for recurring budgetary needs. Think food, groceries, utilities. Rule of thumb, keep two to three months worth of living expenses in this account to avoid overdraft fees. This is also the account where you may wanna hook up, say, a credit card, and through this account, pay your statements off in full every month. For money that you wanna access in a pinch in an emergency like a job loss, consider a standard savings account that is convenient, accessible, and FDIC insured. That means your accounts are insured up to $250,000. If you can nab an account with a higher than average savings rate, even better. But do actively shop around for a high yield savings account and earn as much interest as possible for midterm savings, money that you don't need to tap right away. For example, money for a future home down payment or a wedding a few years away. Now, assuming you're able to meet your minimum expenses, you wanna also think about opening up a retirement account, either through your employer's 401k or an individual retirement account at a bank. Since this savings goal is for many years down the road, what we're really talking about here is investing, letting your money grow more aggressively over the years and benefiting from compound interest. The market will go up and down, but time will be on your side. Finally, if you have a high deductible health care plan, I highly recommend pairing this with a health savings account or an HSA. It's like a personal savings account, but the money set aside here is meant to help you pay for out-of-pocket medical expenses like co-pays and deductibles. Best part, the money goes into the account before taxes, helping you to reduce your taxable income. You can usually open up an HSA through your employer or at a bank or credit union. In the end, this may seem like a lot of accounts to manage, but trust me, dividing your accounts can mean conquering your savings goals. For more advice, stay with us here at Next Advisor.